Longman Preparation Series for the TOEIC Test. More Practice Tests. Third Edition by Lynn Lougheed. Copyright 2004 by Pearson Education. All rights reserved. The use of this audio program for the purpose of copying, transforming, or adapting in any manner, in whole or in part, is strictly prohibited without the prior consent of Pearson Education. CD1 Practice Test 1 Listening Comprehension In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part 1. Directions. For each question, you will see a picture in your test book, and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker says. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture in your test book and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and mark your answer. Look at the sample below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They're looking out the window. B. They're having a meeting. C. They're eating in a restaurant. D. They're moving the furniture. Statement B. They're having a meeting. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer B. Now let us begin part one with question number one. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The fuel truck is by the jet. B. The crane is flying low. C. The plan is to buy fuel. D. The playing field is wet. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The driver is behind the wheel. B. The electrician is around the corner. C. The technician is at the controls. D. The chef is near the stove. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The hotel is on the corner. B. The clerk is looking down. C. The pictures are on the counter. D. The manager is helping customers. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. He's going fishing. B. He's looking at the locks. C. He's bending over the box. D. He's choosing a dish. Go on to the next page. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. They're walking down the sidewalk. B. They're looking at one another. C. They're sleeping on the street. D. They're buying new shoes. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. The audience is listening to a concert. B. The speaker is addressing the group. C. The workers are returning to their jobs. D. The musicians are watching the conductor. Number seven. 
Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. They're rubbing their fingers. B. They're stretching their legs. C. They're leading a band. D. They're shaking hands. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. The conductor is on the train. B. The captain is on course. C. The teacher is behind the desk. D. The trainer is in front of the group. Go on to the next page. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. The closets are full of clothes. B. The drawers contain supplies. C. The storage bins are open. D. The boxes are empty. Number ten. Look at the picture marked number ten in your test book. A. He's preparing food. B. He's sawing a board. C. He's changing his shirt. D. He's cutting his hair. Number eleven. Look at the picture marked number eleven in your test book. A. The hallway is long and narrow. B. The stadium is protected from the rain. C. The library shelves are full of books. D. The shopping mall has more than one level. Number twelve. Look at the picture marked number twelve in your test book. A. The fireplace is tall and narrow. B. The smoke fumes are coming from the chimney. C. The skyscraper is on fire. D. The construction worker was fired. Go on to the next page. Number thirteen. Look at the picture marked number thirteen in your test book. A. The assembly is meeting today. B. The marchers are walking in line. C. The workers are at their stations. D. The plant is large and green. Number fourteen. Look at the picture marked number fourteen in your test book. A. They're sitting side by side. B. They're purchasing a record. C. They're building a studio. D. They're signing a contract. Number fifteen. Look at the picture marked number fifteen in your test book. A. The man is reading a newspaper. B. The seats are occupied. C. The pilot light is lit. D. The passengers are sitting down. Number sixteen. Look at the picture marked. Number sixteen in your test book. A. She's going to faint. B. She's brushing her hair. C. She's painting a picture. D. She's discussing art.
Go on to the next page. Number 17. Look at the picture marked number 17 in your test book. A. They're making coffee. B. They're having a discussion. C. They're washing their cups. D. They're using a calculator. Number 18. Look at the picture marked number 18 in your test book. A. The goods are on a hand truck. B. The boxes are on the shelf. C. The produce is on display. D. The horse is behind the cart. Number 19. Look at the picture marked number 19 in your test book. A. He's buying an umbrella. B. He's clearing the table. C. He's serving the diners. D. He's waiting by the restroom. Number 20. Look at the picture marked number 20 in your test book. A. The trainer is setting his watch. B. The tourist is checking his bag. C. The clockmaker is adjusting the hand. D. The traveler is waiting for a train. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear a question spoken in English, followed by three responses, also spoken in English. The question and the responses will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. You are to choose the best response to each question. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear... Good morning, John. How are you? You will also hear... A. I am fine, thank you. B. I am in the living room. C. My name is John. The best response to the question, How are you? is choice A. I am fine, thank you. Therefore, you should choose answer A. Now let us begin part two with question number 21. Number 21. Where shall we sit? A. How about the front row? B. Before the show starts. C. It's on the table. Number 22. Which train goes to New York? A. New York is my favorite city. B. All trains on track one go there. C. He goes by train. Number 23. How much does this suit cost? A. It costs $30. B. The suit fits very well. C. There are two suits in the closet. Number 24. Who took the telephone message? A. I'll phone you tomorrow. B. I looked for the telephone. C. My secretary took the message. Number 25. What time are you eating dinner? A. I'll have dinner about 6 p.m. B. We dined early yesterday. C. I always eat a big dinner. 
Number 26. Has the mail arrived yet? A. Yes, we came by jet. B. No, it has failed. C. Yes, it came an hour ago. Number 27. Why is the window open? A. Yes, because it's closed. B. It's too hot in here. C. The windmill turns in the wind. Number 28. Who did you expect to come? A. I'll accept your proposal. B. I hoped my aunt would come. C. I suspect it came early. Number 29. Where is the accountant's office? A. It's at the end of the hall. B. There are five accountants. C. The accountant is on the phone. Number 30. How many students are in the class? A. The class meets every day. B. There are about 15. C. My students have to learn English. Number 31. Which magazines does she read? A. The magazine is on the table. B. She read it last week. C. She only reads business magazines. Number 32. When are you leaving for Hawaii? A. I'm going tomorrow. B. You're leaving soon. C. Hawaii is in the Pacific. Number 33. Will the report be finished by 8 o'clock? A. It's 5 o'clock. B. No, it won't be finished until later. C. Yes, the reporter will be late. Number 34. Why do you get up so early? A. Because I have to be at work at 6 a.m. B. I always get what I want. C. You had to leave early, didn't you? Number 35. Would you like soup with your dinner? A. I'm not getting thinner. B. I ate dinner at 7 p.m. C. No, I'd prefer a salad. Number 36. When did you learn how to swim? A. I learned when I was young. B. I swim in the evening. C. I wondered how you learned. Number 37. How much did you pay for this car? A. Because it was used. B. I paid about $3,000. C. The car needs repairs. Number 38. Why did you change your shirt? A. The shirt cost $45. B. I don't have any change. C. Because I spilled coffee on it. Number 39. What was the movie about? A. It's about 6 p.m. B. He moved here last August. C. 
It was a Western film. Number 40. Where are the office supplies? A. That company supplies us with water. B. The supplies are in the hall closet. C. Our offices are on the fifth floor. Number 41. When did the doctor leave? A. She left at noon. B. The boat docked at 8 p.m. C. There was no one left. Number 42. Why hasn't this letter been typed? A. She's not my type. B. We didn't have time to type it. C. It's too little. Number 43. Who has a black ink pen? A. Here, you can use my pen. B. She opened a black book. C. Blacken the circles completely. Number 44. Were you born at home? A. No, I was born in a hospital. B. The barn is behind the house. C. No, I'm never bored at home. Number 45. What's for breakfast? A. It's usually at 6.30. B. We're having cold cereal and fruit. C. I'm hungry. Number 46. How many pages are in the book? A. He's six years of age. B. All the pages are white. C. There are about 300 pages. Number 47. Whose briefcase is on the desk? A. The briefcase belongs to the new lawyer. B. The briefcase is under the desk. C. The desk should be closer to the stairs. Number 48. Who earned the most money last year? A. The money is earning interest. B. The manager earned the most. C. The students learned English last year. Number 49. When will dinner be served? A. The guests were served roast beef. B. We ate in the diner. C. It'll be served at 7.30. Number 50. Which bus should we take? A. Take the number 14 bus. B. We took the first one. C. He should talk to us. Go on to the next page. Part 3. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several short conversations between two people. The conversations will not be printed in your test book. You will hear the conversations only once, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. In your test book, you will read a question about each conversation. The question will be followed by four answers. You are to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Now let us begin part three with question number 51. Number 51. Would you type this letter for me? Of course, but can it wait until after lunch? 
Yes, as long as it's mailed this evening. Number 52. Is the car too big for that space? No, I think you can park there. I hope so. It's hard to find parking here. Number 53. When will the new phones be installed? They promised us by Wednesday before noon. Last week they said Monday afternoon. Number 54. I need 12 dozen ballpoint pens. Do you want any specific color? Yes. Give me 5 dozen red, 6 dozen blue, and a dozen black. Number 55. The doctor told me to stay home from work today. Well, I hope you're feeling better tomorrow. Me too. I'm not used to being sick. Number 56. Is it time for the news yet? Almost. I'll turn on the TV in a few minutes. Turn it on now so we don't miss the beginning. Number 57. The meal was delicious. You're a great cook. You hardly touched a thing. Have some more dessert. No, thank you. I already had two pieces of cake. Number 58. Did you buy a new car? I had to. I got tired of walking. Now you'll get tired of traffic. Number 59. The cleaning staff will be in this evening. How often do they come? Once a week? Our offices are cleaned every night. Number 60. You should have these figures checked. The accountant already looked them over. I'm not sure that these sums balance. Number 61. You must learn to relax. Take a vacation. Play some golf. I'd like to take your advice, doctor, but I have to go to work. If you keep this up, you may never work again. Number 62. Why don't we have lunch together next week? That will be great. I'm not free on Wednesday or Friday. Let's have lunch on Monday, then. Number 63. Spring is my favorite season. I love the cool rains. Me too. I really dislike the summer months. I can't stand the heat and humidity. Number 64. If it keeps raining, they'll cancel the baseball game. We can always go to a movie or play table tennis. It would have been our first night game with the new lights. Number 65. Are you ready to go yet? I've got my raincoat on. Help me find my boots and umbrella, will you? We're going to miss the bus if you don't hurry. Number 66. Where are the pencils? I keep a dozen in my top drawer. I only need two, thank you. Number 67. How much more time do we have left? 
We have another 45 minutes. Good. We should finish in about 20 or 30 minutes. Number 68. Do you live by the police station? No. I live on Mountain View Street, by the school. Oh, that's right. I pass your house on my way to work. Number 69. Did you read the paper this morning? Neither today's nor yesterday's. I didn't have time to buy it. You should have it delivered. Number 70. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to try on this pair of shoes. Of course. This pair is on sale today, too. Number 71. I'm really tired. I didn't get to bed until 11. What time did you get up? Four. I usually get eight hours of sleep. Last night I got five. Number 72. Did you see the headlines in the paper? I never read the front page. You only read the sports section, right? Number 73. I'm afraid I'm going to have to pull that tooth out. I probably should brush more often. After every meal, you should take better care of your teeth. Number 74. I can't stay late tonight. I have to be home at 6. Are you having company for dinner? No, but I'm expecting a call from overseas. Number 75. What did the thief take? He took my purse, my watch, and my keys. You're lucky you weren't hurt. Number 76. The watch is $640 plus tax. I'll take it. Do you take credit cards? Of course. Would you like the watch gift wrapped? Number 77. I've been here for three hours. The plane was due hours ago. Did they say when it was expected? It should land in about a half hour. Number 78. Is there a dining car on the train? No, but there is a club car where you can get sandwiches. I hope they serve coffee. Number 79. We can't play golf in weather like this. You have an umbrella, don't you? My shoes, my clubs... Everything will get all wet in the rain. Number 80. The photocopier never works. The office manager called the repair person. She'll be here any minute. My secretary fixed it himself last time. Go on to the next page. Part 4. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several short talks. Each will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book so you must listen carefully to understand and remember what is said. In your test book, you will read two or more questions about each short talk. 
The questions will be followed by four answers. You are to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Questions 81 through 83 refer to the following advertisement. Office Supplies Incorporated announces fantastic savings. The doors open at 8 a.m. tomorrow and our biggest sale of the year begins. Everything in our store is reduced by 50% from Thursday through Saturday, three big days. The sale ends Saturday at 6 p.m. Now read question 81 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 82 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 83 in your test book and answer it. Questions 84 and 85 refer to the following weather report. Yesterday morning's weather will be with us again today. More freezing rain with a chance of snow late this evening. The weekend forecast is looking up, though, with this low-pressure system moving out. We should expect sunny skies and temperatures as high as the 50s. Now read question 84 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 85 in your test book and answer it. Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following news item. The electric company warns citizens that the demand for electricity may exceed the supply. Air conditioners and fans are in constant use during the hot summer. This increase in demand for electricity may cause power failures. Now read question 86 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 87 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 88 in your test book and answer it. Questions 89 and 90 refer to the following recorded announcement. Please excuse this short delay. Due to our low bargain fares, our agents are busy with other callers. Please stay on the line and an airline representative will be with you shortly. Now read question 89 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 90 in your test book and answer it. Questions 91 through 93 refer to the following special announcement. Good afternoon. I want to welcome you all to our Management Improvement Luncheon. The catering staff here at the club always makes our noon events special. Today's speaker, Mr. Margulis, worked as management trainer for the last 20 years before he retired. Now he only works in his garden. Now read question 91 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 92 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 93 in your test book and answer it. Questions 94 and 95 refer to the following business report. This area is for authorized personnel only. You must have a special pass to enter the area. 
Passes may be obtained at the security office upon presentation of a valid driver's license. Now read question 94 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 95 in your test book and answer it. Questions 96 and 97 refer to the following advertisement. Are you unemployed? Are you looking for part-time work? Do you have office skills that would be useful in a doctor's office, a law firm, or an advertising agency? Call Temp's company and let our agents find you a job that matches your qualifications. Now read question 96 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 97 in your test book and answer it. Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following weather report. Good morning. It's 8 o'clock in the Windy City. This is Dan Richards with your early morning weather report. Don't forget to take your umbrella to work with you today. Right now, it looks like a nice day and the skies are clear. But dark clouds are moving in and rain showers are expected this afternoon. Now read question 98 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 99 in your test book and answer it. Now read question 100 in your test book and answer it. This is the end of the listening comprehension portion of the test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. This is the end of CD.